term this time around is lesser included offenses. And the definition is lesser included offenses are offenses in which one or more element of the more serious offense isn't present or proven. For example, simple robbery is a lesser included offense of aggravated robbery because every element is simple robbery of simple robbery is included in the offense of aggravated robbery. So Mitch kind of explain that. Well, you have different levels of crimes. So if you think about it, the example that's there, aggravated robbery is robbery with a gun. So the element of aggravated robbery, that's the more serious offense. The lesser included offense is robbery. Mm -hmm. You've got a robbery there, there just wasn't a gun involved. Murder is the same way. First degree murder is killing somebody intentionally and after deliberation. Second degree murder is knowingly killing somebody. So it is included. You're knowingly killing somebody if you're intentionally killing somebody and you're doing it after deliberation. So it's included. And what happens is when we try a first degree murder, for instance, the jury gets to decide if it's first degree murder, second degree murder, manslaughter, and even criminally negligent homicide, which is criminally negligently killing someone. Mm -hmm. They get to consider all of those offenses as lesser included offenses. And then, of course, they get to consider not guilty as another, you know, we didn't prove any of those offenses. So you'll see where someone went to trial on first degree murder and got convicted of the lesser included of second degree murder. And that happens a lot in our system. But if you think about the principal crime has a lesser crime inside it, it's just missing one element. And with that element, it makes it a more serious case. So it's a lesser included crime. Gotcha. Okay.